so here I have two motors from Amax Eno for testing. These were donated by Feral Quads, Saba Farkas from Hungary. Uh, he bought them and just had them sent in. So uh, thanks to Feral Quads for donating these motors for testing uh, so that I can uh, check out these motors. I hadn't had a chance to test uh, this brand, Amax. So apparently these are quite popular in Europe. I haven't seen them that much here in the States. They might be more popular now these days. Uh, they seem to be readily available through the Amax uh, website. Uh, they, they ship direct, I think it's from, uh, from China, uh, I believe it is. So they came in after a couple of weeks. Uh, so the size on these are the 2305-1850 and 2306-1800 kV. Uh, Fero Quads, uh, they were interested in seeing how these perform on 6S uh, with this KV value, so 1800 KV on 6S. So they wanted to see how these would match with their frame, uh, the Fenrir. I reviewed that frame not too long ago, it's on the channel, so you can check out that frame. A pretty good looking frame, uh, it's one of those ultra light frame setups. Uh, these apparently would match very well on that frame on 6S. As you can see, these motors come in these plastic boxes and, uh, you know, pretty well packaged. And besides that, they come wrapped in this kind of cushion paper, a um, little baggie here. And so there's the motors and some low profile lock nut and uh, just some M3 screws. And also looks like maybe some instructions here. Let's see some interesting instructions. Looks like it's in German. Uh, seems that this motor is made for EU. It passes all these EU standards. Pretty good, I think. Uh, if they go through the trouble of uh, passing all the standards that you guys in the EU are familiar with. And so that's the 2306 and the 2305, same, same type of packaging, there's the motors, and as you can see I guess that's part of the EU, uh, it says uh, CE, so it has to have those little stickers there I guess. Uh, so first time I get to review and test these Amax motors and I have to say I'm quite impressed at the level of craftsmanship on the motor. It certainly looks and feels uh, pretty well made. Uh, there's nothing cheap about the motor and actually uh, price is not that bad. I think these go for 20 bucks each motor. And I think there's a small shipping fee on these. So, so overall not a very expensive motor. And I think there's a little bit of discount when you get larger quantities. Let's get the weight on the motor. So these come with about 150 the millimeters of wire. This is 20 gauge wires. Both uh, motors have the same type of wire. So let's get a weight on the motor with that much wire. Alright, so let's get a weight on the 2306 with 150 millimeters of wire. It's 36.1 grams. So not exactly super light, but it's a okay weight. And if we cut to 50 millimeters equivalent, will be getting rate of 2.3 grams. Uh, so that's 33.8. Not that heavy, but not that light. It's uh, somewhere in the middle. And let's see what the 2305 weighs in at. And that's of course also with the decreasing the wire length. And the 2305 is 29.8 with 50 meters wire and just by itself with 150 millimeters that's 32.3 they're okay weight uh, not the lightest but they're quite well made and perhaps you know they're quite strong in crashing so they do have this nice big screw so that adds a little bit of weight actually because they're using a full size screw and comes out pretty easily doesn't even seem that they're using any thread lock yeah i don't see any thread lock being used so not a bad idea to put a little bit of a, a thread lock there uh, so you don't lose the uh, the screw or to avoid the bell from flying out and on the website they do mention 
that these are N52 magnets and uh, the motor is basically made of 7075 uh, aluminum and bearings are I don't think they mentioned the type of the brand of bearings they're using but uh, I'm sure they're uh, pretty good and these are uh, uh, 4x9x4 four by four bearings so good size on the bearings so let's see how easy this comes out uh, it's uh, it's quite tight in there so I'll have to uh, pull it with uh, attach a prop and some uh, screws here and just pull it with the pliers uh, uh, so that's a method I use to pull the uh, belt out when it's pretty tight uh, especially if you have a a nice big screw like this one so I'll just put a, an, a one of these screws on the base and then just use this needle nose plier and uh, just use the head of that screw as a pivot point and uh, just uh, level uh, just kind of like uh, you do that motion there and uh, that pushes the uh, uh, the bell out uh, most of the time unless it's like really really uh, stuck in there you know if it's really pressed in then uh, that won't work so that came out okay it took the bearing out with it, it looks like the shaft is pretty tight tolerance against the bearing that's why it's pretty tight in there okay so here's the bell out of the uh, motor and as you can see a fully hollow shaft so very similar to the RC Empower shaft which uses this gold I believe it's called nitrite coating it's used in some drill bits but it certainly looks uh, pretty cool and it looks nice matches the motor there it's just different and the shaft looks like it's nicely also keyed in there so that's not going anywhere arc magnets and on the AMAX website it says these are N52 SH magnets so good uh, components there and yeah there's a little lip there on the ring of the bell so that'll help keep those magnets in place and here's the stator uh, let's get a measurement on that stator height so yeah that's uh, six millimeters and uh, those uh, they say those are 0.15 laminations 0.15 millimeters so all the latest uh, tech uh, innovations on this motor uh, bearings they don't mention brand of the bearings they just say racing bearing I'm sure these are uh, good quality bearings because I haven't seen any bad reports on the bearings on this motor going bad uh, so that came off with the shaft uh, so there you see it so it's gonna so it's gonna I'll just press it in when I put the shaft in when I put the the belt in so it'll hopefully it'll it'll press in yeah it presses in quite easily actually it's went in nice and snug so it looks like it's also easy to remove with a little tap with a punch or even you know like something when you're when it's time to replace them so you'll tap it all the way around uh, slowly and that's the uh, breakdown of the motor so I'm not gonna break down this one because it looks like it's pretty much the same construction on the 2305 as you can see they're uh, quite similar so the only difference is the state of height it's uh, five millimeters everything else looks uh, pretty much the same so we'll look at the air gap on the on the 2205 uh, which is similar to for the 2306 so uh, pretty uh, good air gap is not like overly tight and not loose either so uh, that should make for a good performance on these motors alright so we'll put this back together and always careful not to uh, slam it uh, so you gotta let it go in slowly and yeah that went in that went in pretty easily so 
I'll add a little bit of Loctite and I've mentioned before it's good to use this purple I use this purple Loctite but you can use the blue one too this purple is a lower strength so it's even easier to uh, uh, remove the screw is not gonna get uh, stuck in there you know so just a little just a little drop in there and it'll work its way in so usually you wanna tighten it and then back it out a little bit because if you leave it too tight then sometimes it'll bind the bearing and then it's you know it's not good for the bearing to be uh, too tight so that seems to be good
All right, just a quick summary on this AMAX Eno 2305 1850 kV motor, which came in at uh, very close at 1875 kV as measured by the thrust stand. So this size motor hasn't been too common, 2305. Most motors these days have been 2306 and larger, 2207, 2306. So 2305 with the shorter stator hasn't been that popular but anyway it was interesting to run it and see what it would do uh, interesting motor as you saw on the teardown portion of the video a very well made motor uh, looks pretty good quality and as the results show it's actually performing pretty well if we compare these results to some of the 2306 motors that i've tested recently it actually comes pretty close to those motors uh, within this kv value and 2306 size so that was kind of interesting kind of surprising Surprising to see the 2305 come very close to the 2306s, but uh, the numbers do show that this motor is quite capable, so pretty good option for a 6S setups. Uh, but then you know that also kind of makes you think, uh, why not just go with the 2306? Uh, you're almost paying the same amount of money, not much difference. And as far as weight is concerned, uh, I think that's probably not that much of an issue the weights are pretty close only a few grams I don't think that's gonna uh, change much in the performance of your s of the setup makes for a very good option for a 6s setup uh, within the 2306 size of motors uh, so here are the thrust test results and again as I mentioned when compared to other 2306 top motors it, it comes pretty close it's just a little bit under uh, other 2306s that have performed pretty well actually uh, just a little bit below but also the power consumption is low the amps are going to be a little bit lower so that's another advantage you know these are going to be a little bit easier on the batteries uh, so there you go that's the results for the 2305 uh, just a quick recap. I think all across the board pretty good performance out of this motor for this size and this KV. Alright, so let's look at the 2306 results now. And this one, the KV is actually a little bit lower. The 2305, as you saw, was a slightly higher than advertised. This one's a little bit lower than spec. Only 1770. So that's still not bad. Uh, that's, that's still pretty good KV, actually. So for 6S, this one also performed quite well. Compared to the 2305, it's, of course, a little bit more powerful. It's kind of interesting to see the difference between the two if you compare them side by side. It's interesting to see that uh, for the smaller lower pitch props because the 2305 has higher kv is actually doing i think slightly better than this one just because of the kv so as we go up on the prop size or the pitch uh, then the size of the stator takes over and this one's doing slightly better so that's kind of interesting to see the, tr the transition from the lower pitch and smaller diameter prop to the higher pitch and larger diameter prop prop so that that's kind of interesting even though the kv is uh, a little bit lower on this one also across the board a very good performance out of this motor this amax should be very good option i think for motors for anybody looking to do a 6s setup this motor is actually has been pretty well used in europe so it's a known brand there so another good option uh, so again thanks to Firo quads for sending these motors for testing and show you guys the results so you can compare it and see if this will be a good option for your build so thank you for watching and hope you find the videos interesting and useful so until the next video